Our process starts with understanding the business, understanding that we're dealing with a business that we think has a clear competitive advantage. Valuation is important, but it's not the starting point for us. There has to be some reason away from valuation that we would believe that this business can achieve some success. We all want to understand what makes this company unique. Why is it a greater competitor in their space than others? And identify whether or not the company's been able to build a moat around that business model that would allow them to be successful for an extended period of time. In looking at companies, there are three aspects to our process. Identifying high quality businesses, looking for them when we think they're inexpensive, and identifying investment catalysts that we think can take that business to the next level. You can't just look at a company's financial statements and, and come away with the idea, oh, this is a great business. Well, it may have been in the past, they may have achieved some level of results in the short term, that others may come away and say, wow, this is a great business. But if you don't add that art part of it in with that science and in understanding where's the business going three, five, seven years from now, it really is a mosaic, a combination of both art and science from a fundamental standpoint, looking at the financials of a business, what they've been able to achieve over a long period of time, understanding management teams, looking for individuals who have demonstrated success in the past, Combining all of those factors together, I think is unique in our process in that all of those factors come together to give us a fuller understanding that we're dealing with a business that we do believe has a competitive advantage.